Asante sana. Your Grace, Archbishop Sapit, Bishop Kagonda, and all the other bishops. Your Excellency, our President and the Deputy President, Excellency Governors Nyeri and Governor Laikipia, CS Moses Kuria, uh, PS is present, my colleagues in Parliament, all protocols observed, and fellow Christians, Yesu Asifiwe. Your Excellency, we are delighted to have you here today. And for some reason, this constitution has found favor with you because in the three months of this year we have hosted you three times we don't take it for granted allow me your excellency to acknowledge the other leaders who are we are with us and i start with the mcas our mcas who are present today please stand up where you are we acknowledge you yes the area mca on abobogo the uh, Deputy Speaker, Honorable Karioki, uh, we have Honorable Kiruga, we have uh, Honorable Kamiri, we have Honorable Kareivi, we have Honorable Dagita, we have Honorable Jin, we have the majority leader, I can see Honorable Kanyugo, uh, and the others macho imeanza kupotea kidogo kwa hivyo mtaniruhusu your excellency our mcs are here with us allow me also to acknowledge my colleagues members of parliament uh, starting with our chief whip honorable osoro and your excellency the chief whip has not told you that as, as a young man he worked in nyeri ananiambia anga anajua kamakwa uh, we have the Honorable uh, Deputy Majority Leader, Honorable Owen Bayer from Kilifi. Honorable Osoro is from Kisi, uh, West Mugirango. We have Bishop Kirema uh, from Meru. We have Honorable Mark Nyawita from Uriri. Uh, we have uh, Honorable Marwa Kitayama from Kuria. East. We have Honorable Ashira Karani from Laikipia West. We have uh, Senators Mundigi from Embu. And we've got Senator Mungatana from Tana Liva. Uyu Senator Kuna Wakati Moja Likuwa Mesema Eni Mulamamba. Uh, Honorable immediate former MP, Honorable Ngojiri Wambugu, is also with us, Your Excellency. Your Excellency, we have got PS's Alex Washira, Energy, and PS Ann Wangombe, uh, Gender. And those two PS's, Your Excellency, are our, is our son and our daughter. We've got, oh, we've got P.S. Omoro in Tilia. Thank you, P.S. Omoro. And uh, tunaendelea vizuri na vita. Susan, oh, uh, P.S. Susan, Mangenye. Thank you very much. And of course, we've got the D.G. Nyeri County, Honorable Kinaniri. And uh, I, I know the uh, governors are with us, uh, both Governor Laikipia and uh, Governor Nyeri. Your Excellency, allow me to mention two things. I was with you, I believe, and, and uh, Your Grace, uh, Bishop, uh, Bishop Sapit, in Eldoret, when we had an occasion for the Eldoret West Diocese. And before then, during the campaigns, we were here with you uh, and you participated in helping this diocese and this church put up the retirement home for your friend, Bishop Kagunda. 
Indeed, we have seen you right before you became president and as president with your Christian journey and Christian faith. And sometimes, Your Excellency, the church has a vision. And I do not know when Bishop Kagunda set up the vision for, came up with the vision of setting up this cathedral, the kind of challenges we were facing as a country. But once Bishop Kagunda had presented the vision to the Christians, I wonder whether along the journey, despite the difficulties, including the difficulties that Moses had in the wilderness that made me him strike the stone rather than speaking to it, whether Bishop and the other Christian of Mount Kenya would have agreed that we modify the great vision, the grand vision you had for this cathedral. I am sure they would never have accepted. And we find you in that for me, it is not the unenviable position, it is the enviable position of having to lead this country at a time when we almost have to leave the wilderness in terms of the economy. And you may not have the luxury of modifying the vision you sold to us. And as your students and as your lieutenants, we also do not have the luxury other than to soldier on putting our eyes on the vision that you have for our country. Your grace, we acknowledge we have had a challenging one and a half years. We have tightened the belt, but it was the only way for us to get our economy to where we are now, and we are on the launching pad into the future. And Your Excellency, with those challenges, in this town, you are able to appoint our deputy president and the two PSs from Nyeri, despite the challenges and the hard uh, cost of living and the economic times. You have initiated the two affordable housing projects in this constituency. You have allowed us to also uh, upgrade the infrastructure at Nyeri National Polytechnic. You have promised us the completion of Roringo Stadium. We have been struggling with it for the last six years. And therefore, the people of Nyeri can actually give evidence that despite the challenges we have faced as a country, despite the high cost of living, we are making progress. We are behind you, and you have our support 100%. And we will, I will continue engaging the residents of this town in terms of what we are doing as a government. I'm sure we have and you have our support. Situnam support Rais watu wanyeri. Ni ukweli. Tunafuata yale ali anatuonyesha na pale angepeleka angependa kupeleka nchi yetu. Nifikishe hapo niseme asante sana. And now with all humility, allow me to invite the governor Nyeri. His Excellency Mutahika Higa.